In support of the Naval Theater-Wide Aegis Sleep Intercept ALI program, the Captive Carry Seeker program is reducing risk by providing early testing of the SM-3 Kinetic Warhead Seeker against a realistic ALI target. The Seeker and supporting electronics are installed on the Airborne Surveillance Test Bed, AST, a modified Boeing 767 aircraft. The Captive Carry Seeker is housed in the aft cupola module behind the primary AST sensor. Captive Carry Seeker is of the same design to be used for the FTR-3 flight mission. The Seeker is installed in a windowed protective canister capable of providing an ideal thermal environment when exposed to AST flight altitudes, normally 45,000 feet. The Seeker canister assembly is mounted on a two-axis gimbal system. The gimbal points the Seeker towards the target so that the target is maintained in the field of view. The gimbal assembly is mounted in the AST cupola. It connects to equipment in the main cabin, providing control and data capture capabilities. Laboratory tests were conducted in Tucson to ensure that the system was ready for AST installation. The first was a small chamber test of the canister thermal control system. This test resulted in adjustments to the placement of heaters in order to minimize thermal gradients across the seeker optics and canister window. All cupola equipment was then placed in a large thermal environmental chamber to test the operation of seeker and gimbal at external temperatures from ambient down to minus 55 degrees Celsius, the worst case. This very stressing test uncovered several hardware problems. All problems were resolved and repeat testing demonstrated good performance over the entire temperature range. The gimbal with operating seeker was next placed on a vertical vibration table capable of emulating the random vibrations predicted during AST flights. With the seeker imaging a simulated target, the gimbal control system was able to isolate the seeker from the base motion without introducing measurable jitter or image smear. Having successfully completed its Tucson tests, the captive carry equipment was packed up and sent by truck to the AST aircraft in Seattle. The captive carry seeker system is now installed in the AST aft cupola module. The seeker within its environmental canister is seen to nutate. This coating motion supports noise reduction algorithms. Three captive carry consoles are mounted in the AST's main cabin. The center console controls the seeker and gimbal system. The data acquisition console captures full frame image data from the seeker's signal processor. The telemetry console collects tracker data using a fiber optic cable from the seeker. On November 20th, the SM-3 target test vehicle, TTB-1, was launched from the Kauai test range. The captive carry seeker was able to collect more than eight minutes of target signature and tracking data. Seeker video shows the rotating target image as the seeker is nutated. This motion is used to distinguish the subpixel target from FPA noise. The compressed seeker video shows the tracker gate placed around the rotating subpixel target. The seeker IMU compensates for the target rotation and provides a non-rotating target aim point for KW guidance. Data collected during the TTV-1 mission is providing critical information on SM-3 seeker performance and target characteristics. This has already led to improvements in detection and tracking algorithms benefiting the ALI program. <laughs>